Thank you, Madam Deputy uh, Speaker. I rise today as a matter about academisation of two schools in my constituency, Moulscombe Primary School and Peacehaven Community School. They are opposite ends of my constituency and in two local authorities, one Labour-controlled, one Conservative-controlled. Moulscombe Primary School um, has had a total funding cut of £388,000, equivalent to £595 per pupil since 2015. And in the last 12 months, they have lost 11 staff, predominantly support staff. Morscombe Primary School is in an area of multiple deprivation um, and has many challenges about it, including um, a great expertise that they have risen to the challenge of in SEN provision, but unfortunately they don't fit in the checkboxes of an Ofsted. Two years ago, the Ofsted inspectors came and rated the school requires an improvement. So with the Labour-led local authority, the local community and the fantastic new head, we went to work implementing all the recommendations of Ofsted and in almost all the indicators and results they have improved and all the recommendations of that previous Ofsted have been implemented. But when Ofsted inspectors came and returned uh, a few months ago, they rated it inadequate because, for some reason, it didn't feel their new box-ticking exercise. The goalposts were changed, and the school now has an enforced academisation order to it. Well, really, I have a message to those off-dead inspectors that went to Morscombe. Frankly, I think you were inadequate, and I think you <laughs> should go back and re-inspect. Well, not you individuals. We should get a new bunch to come uh, instead. This academisation is opposed by all groups on the Council in Brighton and Hove. The Labour administration, supported by the Greens, and the Conservative opposition. This is not a party political issue. This is an issue of justice and fairness, of which Morscombe School has been robbed. Turning to Peacehaven Community School, they have um, even greater numbers of crippling cuts, £1.2 million, equating to £627 per student. This was a school that we opened up in 2001 after a long campaign of my predecessor and the community, the Labour predecessor, I might add. And when I went to school, we were shipped miles up the road, um, uh, over 10 miles up the road to the local secondary school priory, and now having a local secondary school in the community was so important. This school's Ofsted actually is still good, but the county have used a devious device because of one year the results dipped to put forward an interim executive board. They abolished the governing body with no consultation to the parents or the cooperative trust that actually owned the school. The cooperative trust is opposing this academisation that is now being forced upon it by the county. Whilst the executive board has taken control, we've had five head teachers in five years. Results have not improved, they have worsened. And Swale Academy, which has supported the executive board, of course, and set the framework for themselves taking over the trust. They have bullied the trust board um, into a stage where they are threatening legal action against legitimate trust holding out because they want to consult the parents. This kind of academisation is totally wrong. And it is because East Sussex County Council are in a situation where they are running a bare-bones statutory budget. The Conservative-led council there are now only doing the minimum under the law and they're not able to support the schools that they need to in that local area. We have garnered support from the lo other local Local secondaries that will support that school in its improvement and transition. But no, nothing um, happens and we are not listened to. Staff have resorted to ballot strikes um, and I am supporting the National Education Union and the GMB in those actions. With Morscombe Primary School, I beg that Ofsted come back. They re-evaluate the school and the Secretary of State rescinds this order or at least allows a parent ballot on the issue. And with Peacehaven Primary School, I beg 
the East Sussex County Council stop their loving with swale that has failed this school and allow this school to be returned to the community where it belongs. The reality is the academy programmes were a failed programme that a previous government set up and we now need to reverse them all. Thank you. Yeah,